Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040, bringing to you some very sad news from the world of jazz music, where it was announced and confirmed on April 1st, 2020, that legendary pianist Ellis Marcellius Jr. has sadly passed away at the age of 85 years old due to complications with coronavirus. And it comes as a real shock because Ellis Marcellus Jr.'s contributions to the world of jazz music and music education is second to none and I have to say that he was a true pioneer and taught so many great musicians at the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts and he will be sorely missed by everyone and obviously as we all know he comes from one of the most famous families in the history of jazz music, the Marcellus family, where he has six sons, Branford Marsalis, Winton Marsalis, Delfeo, Miboa and Jason Marsalis, who are all outstanding jazz musicians and masters of their respective instruments. And he also taught many great musicians outside of his own uh, family, musicians such as Terence Blanchard, Harry Connick Jr., Donald Harrison, Kent and Marlon Jordan, Nicholas Payton, among others. And as a leader, he recorded 20 studio albums and he's played with many other great musicians such as David Fathead Newman, Eddie Harris, Marcus Roberts and Courtney Pine. And to hear the news that he is sadly no longer with us is a real shame really but in my honest opinion Ellis Marcellus Jr. led a, a wonderful full life and he has nothing to be ashamed of. He was already inducted into the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame back in 2018 and him and his children received awards for the NEA Jazz Masters Award in 2011 so he's a very highly decorated man and had a wonderful career, one of the best careers you could ever hope for and he will be sorely missed by everyone. And also another sad loss we also experienced on that same day was the loss of legendary jazz guitarist John Paul Pizzarelli or as he's fondly known as Bucky Pizzarelli who also passed away at the age of 94 years old and I have a lot of respect for Bucky Pizzarelli and he was one of the most original jazz guitarists of his time and he had a great career as well and he is also the father of John Pizzarelli who is the jazz guitarist and the other son who is his brother bassist Martin Pizzarelli and since bursting onto the scene in the 50s, Bucky Pizzarelli played with a number of legendary musicians who he collaborated with, legends like Benny Goodman, Les Paul, Stefan Capelli and Antonio Carlos Jobim and he has also been heavily influenced musicians such as Django Reinhardt, Freddie Green and George Van Epps and what can you really say really he's one of the most decorated musicians of all time and he was also a staff musician for NBC with Skitch Henderson in 1952 he also became a member of the Tonight Show band in 1964 starring Johnny Carson and he's played with so many different musicians including his children as well he also played with George Barnes and the guitar duo and they recorded two albums and you name it he did it all and sadly is no longer with us now and he also um, Bucky Pizzarelli recorded tons of studio albums as a leader under his own name and he also collaborated with his son John as well and he also played with a number of other musicians like Solomon Burke, Anita Baker, Carly Simon Sarah Vaughan, Robert Palmer, Roberta Flack, Rosemary Clooney 
and the, the legendary Aretha Franklin and Michael Franks and he also played on Paul McCartney's Kisses on the Bottom from 2012 and it is a real shame that we've lost such two legends in the history of jazz and they will be sorely missed by myself and everybody else and all I want to say to both of these fine gentlemen is thank you for all of the great music that you have given us for so many decades and generations thank you for your contributions not just to music but to education as well thank you for influencing so many great musicians both past present and future your body of work and legacies will both live on forever and may you both rest in peace.